Big Sky High School offers a unique program for future farmers of America that teaches them both agricultural and leadership skills. He's pretty. Oh. Yeah. 24 students from Big Sky are heading to Billings for the FFA state competition. With a large variety of categories at state, the Big Sky Agricultural Program teaches the students the ins and outs of working in ag while also teaching them valuable lessons along the way. You know, most of our students aren't agriculturalists. They're probably not going to go out and be agriculturalists. What we're hoping to help them develop is um, leadership skills. We want them to be informed consumers that understand the process from farm to fork and how their food gets to their table, that food doesn't come from a grocery store. The way the students learn these necessary skills is by taking a hands-on approach to agriculture. Mary-Kate Nagel, one of the students on Big Sky's FFA team, says she fell in love with the program after working with the live animals during her freshman year. It takes a lot of patience. You, the amount of patience it takes, like I started with hogs and they are not on a lead. You have to be able to move them um, while they're kind of just running free. And so it takes a lot of patience teaching them because if you get mad, they're not going to learn anything. And so you really have to be patient. While most of the learning from this program is done on the farm or in the classroom, one student says the competition held throughout the year is a great teacher as well. Seeing your skill sets put up against other people's really help you see where you are and how you've improved. Um, there's a lot of kids here that go to these contests and they're not very happy with, oh, I didn't do very good at these contests. But in reality, they've learned an incredible amount about these different contests and skill sets. and. It's really just about the learning aspect. The students leave for the state competition in Billings Monday, April 1st. In Missoula, Derek Joseph, MTN News.